The Story of the Snail City. Once there was a snail city, where all the snails lived. It's clean and quiet and beautiful in the city, but there was one problem. The time seemed to go too fast. It was summer time now. The water lilies in the south of the city had come out. A young snail wanted to invite the girl in the north to enjoy the lilies, so he wrote a letter to her. But when the letter got to her, the water lilies had withered, and when the girl came to the south, what she saw were plum blossoms, for it was already winter time. One autumn, when the grapes in the north were ripe, the girl snail wrote to the young snail in the south. To come to eat grapes, but when he reached the north, there were not any grapes, only vegetables, for it was already winter. Everybody felt really confused about this. Why time passes so quickly in our city? They all asked each other. But another girl snail understood why. It was not because the time went fast, but because they themselves walked too slow. The slow speed made it inconvenient to communicate, and then she thought of a good idea. She grew some morning glory. Soon there were vines on most of the walls from the south to the north. Then the morning glories came out. There was one flower in each snail's window. The girl snail was happy to see this because she wanted to do something with them. She put her mouth in one of the flowers and called loudly, "Hello!" Then she heard the echo from the next flower. Well, she was practicing the telephone system. The root of the vine was the telephone exchange. After three days' hard work, the exchange was set up. The whole city's telephones were connected and could be used easily. There were morning glory telephones all over the city. With their help, the snails could do things on time, and the girl snail in the south married the young snail in the north with the help of the telephone. And the, the girl who invented the telephone was still busy answering calls on the interchange.